Previously on The Cut, the remaining 12 contestants had to design a wedding for a couple of their choice. Over and above designing the wedding dress, invitations and table settings, one person from each team had to travel to a distant location to find a suitable wedding venue. Michelle chose Odysseus to travel and immediately realized her mistake. Oh, I just wish you were here, OD. <laughs> Without Odysseus on her side, Michelle found it increasingly difficult to win the support of her team members. No, we haven't printed anything here. The problem I'm having is I'm feeling almost if once again Garth and I are doing majority of the work. And to make matters worse, Andile depleted the team's resources. And we don't have any call time at the moment because Andile's used all the call time for personal reasons. Muleba Heng's team, on the other hand, worked together seamlessly and at Style Council, it was indeed her team that won the challenge. Michelle's team had to face the music. Garth and Andile were singled out due to their lack of contribution to the concept. But it was Andile who did not make the cut. Good morning guys and welcome to this week's task which is a visual merchandising one. This week Woolworths is turning 75 years old and to celebrate that, you must design a window display that captures the essence of what Woolworths has stood for over the past 75 years. Mapiwe and Garth, because you guys were chosen first last week, you are this week's team leaders, so please come forward. Mapiwe, because your team won at the last style council, you get to choose first. Vos. Most people, are, in fact, when you come to in the same seven and nine before, guys go to buy you strong group, you know, like you see, strong in my concepts. Lonwab, I think she will have a bit more of opportunity to express herself because she's very good conceptually, and she'll really be able to push it being a leader. Odi, Michelle, Lebeheng. Becky. Lerato. George. I chose George of Akama because it's safety. I've worked with George before. I know how he works. Um, conceptually and stuff like that. So, and he's very good on computers and stuff. And he has a more professional manner of executing things and coming up with things. Akama. Guys, I will see you again at Style Council where the winning team will be excused and one person from the losing team will not make the cut. Good luck. You will design and create a window display for Woolworths, which analogies and builds on their standing as the leader in visual merchandising, as well as celebrates their 75th birthday. Our display must celebrate quality, creativity, innovation, and lifestyle brand. Those are th I think those are like very key issues that we need to like keep in mind when we do this. This thing needs to be iconic, you know. It needs to be like a pinnacle, you know, like everything condensed to one very simple Simplified. thing. Simplified. You know, everything like Simplified. one thing. Seventy-five years in in, the, in the South Africa in South African history that is like a long time so it's a very to you must understand that like to a lot of 
I would say to a lot of white families, it is not just a shop, it's heritage for them. It is being passed on from generation to generation. We're letting them know about the 75 years that Woolworths has yeah, given consistent, yeah. You know, you know what this, what this. At the same time, trying to draw them in to buy. That's what you do. You we must cannot. spot the difference. You must do that thing. Spot the difference. Do, you know, the whole jacket, whatever. Like, have a couple of, of mannequins and then they just... There's like something that's like different. You don't actually see the difference. Because you're trying to say that Woolworths has been consistent throughout. Yeah. They're going to have expiry dates. On, 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 on the mannequins, they have like yes, expiry yes, dates and yes. stuff. That would be the difference. They're yes. dressed, but it's just an expiry date. But the thing is, it has to be noticeable yeah, when the viewers walk past. Yeah. Woolies has been around for 75 years, and how wine, you know, from the start, it just gets better and better over the years. You know, like the longer you keep your wine, the better it's going to be. So I was thinking. That's how becomes. the more value it becomes, and I'm thinking that's Woolies. Woolies gets better and better over the years. So the mannequins will be wearing clothes and stuff? No, we actually want them kalka, touching themselves. Of course they're going to be wearing clothes. It's, it's the one thing that they emphasize, almost overemphasize in this book, is cleanliness. Cleanliness and, and quality, clean. yeah. And Even in the store, it's like space. Yeah. Their first shop opened in October in 1931. And then their 25-year anniversary was in 1956. I mean, you look at those dates, those could be like the turning point, the, ref, the turning points that we use as references. Like, instead of, because we don't want our window to be cluttered, we want to keep that Woolies clean simplicity that they have. Could have, like, start with the garments from now and go back and show it and, and have different, um, different ages. You know how man started astralopathy and then they go. Maybe give show the clothes that they had a lot a while ago and then how it progressed up but still keeping the same quality. The idea was running around it was first based on Lunwabo's idea of I mean, right. yeah that that developed it was first spot the difference and then we had the chappies did you know like you know but not having chappies but like Woolworths did you know this like you know that, that sticker that the, the, the wrapper and inside the wrapper they have that lines and then we had the leather jacket which was yeah I brought it up of like having like the leather jacket it's like universal and like then we could have like the same leather jacket that's in Woolworths now and just dress it up like they would in the 50s in the 50s in the 60s 80s and then like 2000 and 2006 to show like Woolworths is still on their game and still eating the market and stuff. This is up yeah. their game. Yeah. You need to represent yeah. what up their game. It's Even I'm game. like buying yeah. Woolies, you know? You know? The thing is we have to show like how Woods have lived on throughout like this whole time. So I was thinking like we can have like this I don't know, we can play with the idea of a guy or a girl, maybe both. But we try to keep it simple so we have a guy. And then we have him like a toddler and then like older and older and older and older. And we can show like how this guy grew up and when he's 75 Woolworths is now 75 as well. I know you're probably wondering why I'm here. I don't know whether I'm the bearer of good news or bad news, but what I need you to do is each team needs to vote for one person that they feel deserves immunity from the next style council. Each of you will have an opportunity to vote. You will vote in secret, one at a time, and you cannot vote for yourself. Hey, this is hard. This is chilly. You need to vote for the person on your team that you feel deserves immunity from the next style council. That's all you need to know right now. I've chosen Mlebo Heng. Um, she's had to defend herself at style council, uh, I think, two times.
my period, I think you're the one person that I'd vote for, if not for myself. Um, from what I have gathered, you and I would want this more than anybody else in the team. That's the feelings that I get. Okay. I voted for Garth because I think he could actually win this game and I need him to stay and stay focused. So I think immunity will help him out. Okay, the reason why I voted for Pegasha is because I feel in pinch him and otherwise. Yeah, and I think he's got, he's got a strong personality and character. We, we hit gold last night on our concept and stuff. So we're just busy executing it. we assigning people to do whatever. The concept is having us, our group, as the mannequins, um, dressed in wool's um, clothing, eating wool's food, enjoying wool's lifestyle. Basically just saying um, 75 years of real quality. We made sure that it's on point. We made sure that we all understood what was going on and stuff. So yeah, we're all quite happy with the concept. And we're on the same page too. George and Becky is going to do the type outside. I'm going to help Michelle with the inside as well as Don Wabo is going to help us on the inside because there's plenty of stuff that needs to be set up. If we take just one liter, would it be enough? Extra one liter. One, yeah. One, one more. Oh, Perfect. Perfect. Okay, let's go do this and then Mas Morons, we are running short, we'll come and get the other liter. Um, we are buying the paint to paint our thing magic, but now the budget they gave us is not enough for us to get everything that we need. We think our window is going to rock. I'm Definitely. Gonna love it. Or they're gonna hate it. You got this. It's. I personally think it's the riskiest concept ever in this whole series. Taking a risk here, yeah, <laughs> very big risk. You'll see it. Yeah, gonna make a point though. Yeah. It's a unit. We're gonna, yeah. we're gonna like um, do the design a 75 logo, and we've came up with the line that says 75 years of real quality. Because a lot of people didn't know that um, we, also didn't just, know that. we also didn't know that World is turning 75. So we're gonna educate them and tell them that it has been real for like they have real quality and maturity. So I was just finishing up with the uh, my measurements where uh, our floor teasers and then from there we just put them together, copy on the measurements and then floor teasers the things that we'll be placing around the mall to actually lead you to where our window is gonna be. There's gonna be seven this side and seven that side. So um, you're gonna be coming out that way, then you'll see one teaser leading to another, to another, then all they're gonna end up in one window, which is our window. Yeah, they're gonna meet it at our window. There you see red, blue, and, and, and brown, and then there's a little touches of, you know, the oranges and the green, but basically the colors they're pushing for. Yeah. Thing is we need to get everything here so we can see what we're working with. It's like a puzzle. You can't build a jigsaw puzzle up if you don't have all the pieces sort of thing. I'm not really worried. It's just trying to visualize the whole thing. Like from what we thought we could have had it, now we have to just work out, like we have to work with what we have. I'm sure we can start adding on different things as well. We still have the type that has to go up, the, co the copy that has to go up, and then we have the whole leading up to the whole thing that we get to play with as well. And then obviously us, it must fit in. Looking for a uh, bust form to actually fit the blazer on. It's part of our concept. What size is he? He's like a medium, 100. It's like a medium. 97 medium. centimeter chest, I think. Like a hundred. Never like a hunky hunk. We're painting the wall, and then we're going to paint these frames a different color, and then that's the beginning. We're going to wait for our thing to dry, and, and then, then uh, Odysseus Noleri 
have gone to um, make emblems and badges for our and then from then onwards it's a We want us to have like everybody have their own different style. I think when I was going more like tomboyish, I'm going. <laughs> it's a bit of a contrast. It's modern, not tomboyish. It's modern. called modern. I know you guys. You always need your mommy with you to shop. You know, such a want mommy than your girlfriends, <laughs> your wives. <laughs> Woolworths. The colours that they are promoting are red, blue, um, and and browns. So for um, the summer, because winter is out, so we're using those colours. So we've chosen three main colours. What, what are them? Th there's red and what? Red, blue and brown. So those are the main colours that are in the at the moment. Did, did, you, did you consult that with the, somebody there? Yes, that's the person we consulted with who told us that. Are you dressing me in red? Well, that's the colours we are all dressing in. Those are the three main colours. Okay, cool. Shop. Right. Have you consulted that with anybody? What's uh, this? Yeah, we did. What Telling them the colours. But you're not having these colours. Yeah, hey, but uh, those colours are... Red, blue, white and brown. No, the ones that you're wearing, Joe. I don't know if you want to wear red if you consulted that with anybody. It's like, I don't give two shits what you don't want to wear. They're not making any... A cart is not making any decisions. Antonia, Chantoni is a leader, I know. So, I... I'm going to get to the leader. I'm going to get to the leader. So, I'm going to get we are painting the walls. We're gonna paint these things to fit. We're, we're trying to get like a an old feel to it. Concert here too is then and now. And one of the things that Kulu Mangazo equality yaga uli zuguti uli to kala ngona 1931 since One thing you could be sure of. Yes, they want to go for like a, 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 a vintage type of background. You can still be sure that the solid quality is going to be so the consistency is Our concept is the most basic of concepts. There's going to be one thing, one thing, nothing else. It's going to be nice. There is that one chair that's, um, that's a, a creamish color. Then maybe, yeah. Now come up with something. I mean, you can't, you can't, no, the thing is, listen, she said. You always do that. You always go, no, it's not going to work. But you never say, no, it's not going to work. Why don't we? Because it doesn't, it doesn't have the Woolworths tone. It does not keep on with the whole imagery that Woolworths has always had. Because it's still talking to the to the customers they've had and the customers they're trying to attract. So it mustn't be like too, okay, we're just chilling. We're just being playful. We can do whatever. We had a lot of ideas going forward. And then we chose one. Last night, everybody was excited about it. When we spoke about it and things, people went off, they were happy and stuff. And now this morning they come and they find um, there's, a, there's a small problem. And instead of thinking your way around it, you're like, oh, there's a problem, it's not the same, it's not gonna work, guys, come on. Uh. Yeah, so if you come here and dress up and put a couch and then just lie down and like, yeah, we're just being real people, it's not really doing anything. Well, for me, it's actually really not doing anything. So we need to find all the elements of what we worked towards our conception last night. We thought of all the pieces that we, that we needed last night. And I mean, we can't build this thing if we don't see all the stuff in front of us of where, what's gonna go, where and how's it gonna go. What are we actually really doing? So I mean, even if you're gonna just put like four people on this couch, it's gonna look, still look like a woods advertisement. You add a couple of um, balloons, yeah, it still looks like a woods advertisement. Mm. It, is, it, it, it still looks like... It's so simple. Who's gonna have a balloon? Yeah, maybe one should have a balloon. Why are you supposed to take a balloon? Okay. Here I am with another twist in the story. You've had an opportunity to vote for one member in your team that you feel deserves immunity from the next style council. You have chosen Garth and Mapiwe. 
You two will not be able to finish today's task. You will leave the set today. So Garth and Mapiwe, could you please come and join me here? Garth, Mapiwe, you are going to choose replacement leaders for your teams right now. Garth, who is the leader of your team? Nunuabo. Mapiwe. Kama Lonwabo, you are this week's new team leaders. And you, I will see at the next style council. God and Mapiwe, let's go. These are like the teasers that you'll be getting on the floor. We're gonna paste them on the floor from the, coming from that side and also coming from that side. And they're all gonna meet here, which is the center of our, our window. I don't know, I don't mind. I don't really feel like I'm, I'm being a, a, a leader, so. I don't know how it could be. Could be her first win. Ah. Waiting for Beggy to finish the printing, then when he's done, then everything will all be here. Everything will be done. We just need to get our clothing and that's probably more or less of it and sort this place out. I just found out to go to uh, George. The way, George, the way I save it on coin is one day, he messed it up. Like, so now I'm trying to fix it so now the printers don't have the fonts that we have there at home. So yeah, we fix stuff there. This is what mm. I was thinking it's going to mm. do. Yeah. They don't have the fonts to fix this. They don't have the fonts. Yeah. yeah. I was just speaking. You can, but I'm not sure. Well, nothing's going right. I wasn't prepared to be leader. <laughs> probably why I'm feeling weird. Especially like in the middle of a task. Kaboom, in your face. <laughs> are you guys doing? Are you doing Fun? Are you going to be finished? In time. Yeah, in time. we will be. Okay. Do you want to tell me what you're going to do again? Uh, we're using a blazer and we making the blazer represent what Woodies is all about. And then we're going to put uh, like badges on them to represent that good quality. Will a, will a customer be able to see the scroll, f scroll? Is it readable from outside? Yes. A window you walk past and you, if you lose the customer, you've lost it. Mm -hmm. So are you guys happy that whatever you do is going to stop a dead in the tracks and she's going to get the message? Okay. We'd like to think so, definitely. Okay, no. <laughs> It's going okay, we just got a, a prick or a reminder from Woolies. Just recapping on Woolies, what they really need basically in terms of visual and merchandising. And I still think our concept is strong. We're taking a big chance, you know. We're not taking your normal mannequins and then just putting them up. So we're not taking the usual route, which is also quite deadly, you know. It might make us sink right down to the bottom or it might make us fly really high. Guys, that's what we've got to think of now is how are we displaying this? We've got the idea, yeah, we do this as this, but it doesn't seem obvious enough. It just doesn't, you know, where are we putting ourselves? That's what I mean like last night when I said like when I was playing. Last night we did sit together and I said like, oh, are you sure you want to do this? Like, do you know, like, you know, kept on checking. Everybody was very keen on it. That's why I said that you mustn't take it too literally that we've been real. We must mm. remember that it's still visual merchandising. We, we've planned the stuff, but I don't know, it just seems like Lenoir was like changing and changing and changing and changing as we're going. The, the only um, thing I'm saying, if you want to keep the couch and keep this whole thing and still keep the food and whatever, then it has to be like, we just had a party and we, we're tired. She's become a lot outspoken, so she's not really like letting it happen. 
So I don't know, I feel like we're absolutely nowhere because actually we are nowhere. And We're real people and we don't get what the real people are going to be doing. And I kept saying, because I'm like... Okay. Well, maybe it needs to be more obvious. That's maybe then we don't need this couch, etc, etc. Maybe just pure mannequins and we take that out and display stuff on it. Real people. She's quite adamant, like, that it's got to be this way or no way. So things are not looking good. I told you I do not feel comfortable with having the couch. We can have us as real mannequins and you and God do not want, want me to not have the couch. So I said, okay, fine, let's have the couch. And still you do not know how to work with your couch. We said we're having two people on the couch and then one person Doing standing. what? You said one having... Same thing, it's like just having us as mannequins. Doing what? It's the same question. Doing what? Guys, we have to work with what we have. We and have to work with what we have. We don't finish and then we take the paper off. Like, there, there's nothing there. Uh, <laughs> We're the future. <laughs> you see, we're working well with the team leader. I love you, Kwama. <laughs> we're doing, we're not sticking it on, are we? Mm, mm, mm. Becky, you need to tell us what you're doing. I did not know you were press sticking pieces of paper on the wall. Becky, what made you think... Let's just move this. That, ...that that would look good on the wall, sticking it on the wall? What made you think that it would look, look fine? What you spray to is going to go flat. It's white on white. Just looking from, from a distance... You're still going to see its paper. Can I see? Can I see? Can I see? Anything is George We're representing is quality. How is exactly. this quality? I mean, look, this is it's already it's it's paint. Becky, you have to learn to speak to us. You did last time. You've got to learn. You can't it's just go off. Everybody, it's horrible and it's annoying when people don't like communicate. I can't work with people who don't communicate. I just I can't. Look at this now. We're representing quality, but we're putting paper on a wall. It just that was not what we spoke about. It was not what we spoke about. Cut this neatly. Cut this neatly. And we just spray glue. Spray glue sticks on this. This is the flat back. And look at it from a distance. It's really bad from wood. It's not gonna. Yeah. Country fine. This is bull. It's just. It just doesn't work. It doesn't work. Taking paper on a wall. That's like the wording on the wall. It should have been painted on. It should have been, like Garth and I said last night, it should be stenciled. Stenciled. We need to spread the light and to make the light a little bit lighter, not too bright. Because we, we're trying to get the focus to be on on the consumer more than on the consumer more than the backdrop. There was a little bit of a problem with the embroidery machine at where we've got our embroidery done. So it took us a little valuable minute and like if the mesh machine is acting up, it's acting up, you know, just have to wait and until it gets sorted. You know what, I'm going to source a couple of things that Woolies has already. I mean, the blaze is still the centre of attraction, but the visual merchandiser lady manager has a point, you know. Will people be able to read things from afar, so we can still make it the centre of attraction, but have things playing around. And on top of it, it's a display, you know, it's like visual merchandising. I don't know what's money couch in Dala on, you know, visual merchandising because Indo, you have to, you know, it has to look fresh, it has to look new. That couch was dirty, it was old, but they still wanted it. And then after it was here, they did not know what to do with it. We are not Oh, Michelle, no cards. And then Nanika, you went here to actually put input about, you know, what we could do with the, you know, with the whole, you know, concept of, of it. 
According to my knowledge, I thought everything was fine because I was just fixing the headline. I thought by the time I get here, I was just putting the headline on there and then it's fine. So now when I find here, people are breaking apart. I don't know what's happening. And then now when I come in and bring in these things, and then they say they don't like them or whatever, whatever. So, mm. okay, listen, Michelle. This is the plan. No. This is the plan. When I got here, everything was gone. You were taking things out. When I, I got in there. I didn't take anything out. Okay, fine. I've been okay, fine. Here because fine. I I'm bringing everything back. This plan here. Now. I'm, I'm bringing everything back. Here's the couch. There's people there. There's you there. There's me. whatever. There's, there's George coming in there. So I'm bringing everything back. So I'm gonna reset it. So I'm trying to bring everything together now. We have to do everything. Must not have a no. It's kind of silly. All I need to do is just move something and some kind of move to one side. You know, this whole party is a repetition of you. You know that. Cool. And, and, and listen, listen, and fighting, fighting is not going to help us. We're no, running Becky, against time. Talking, Can we just make this worse? Talking helps, Becky. But That's we don't have time to talk. talk. We don't have time. What? With what? Listen, you're only complaining about this. We're not watching you guys. We didn't even set up. We didn't figure out what to do. This, what's listen. Here, listen. What to do. Listen. You're sticking pieces of paper. Listen, Whoa. listen, copy comes after. You have to fix the visual. You your visual copy. wasn't fixed. Oh, your visual. Mm. You can't just have a visual and then have a copy. That's just that's such a nerve. You're talking too much. You haven't even figured out everything here. Look, damn it. Because on my way here, I thought I was just going to put in the copy or whatever. Like, why are you worried about the copy? Why don't you worry about putting together like this? Because the copy, those words, are will represent exactly what's going yes, on in here. My opinion, you failed. Because now, what you're supposed to be doing, you're supposed to put everything together. Then I, I failed, baby, because, because I'm not staying anyway. Yeah, so live with bye, that. Bye. represents that Woolies, Woolworths, has kept a consistency uh, in quality, a consistency in producing the best quality of products for its customers. Also, we've chosen to use uh, those old school food pictures to represent what Woolies brought in the past. And in the front, we've incorporated recent items that Woolworths has to also communicate what Woolies has now. You know, it's still keeping its consistency in quality, innovation, creativity, and integrity. The gold in the blazer represents all the products are done with pride. And, you know, gold is such a pure thing and it's such a, a valuable thing to have. And a blazer is such a universal thing. You know, everyone can understand what a blazer means. A sense of pride, a sense of history, honor. a sense of honor, prestige. When you see this, you think about the heritage, the history. And so this is which is what we wanted to show in like the whole 75 years, how fight has come up to this point. Yeah. Wow. We would yes. like to forfeit. Yo! George, have you seen that? Have thing? you seen that thing? That George? piece of paper and it's on put there? Forwards into, you know, into shit. That is not forward. I mean, who is gonna like have a heart attack when they see that? I'm sorry, it's embarrassing. Mm -hmm. We because failed. We can't. Let's we can't. We, we, we can't. Like you know, like advertise words like that. It's I'm like sorry. for me, it's it's like the that worst. paper's gonna come off. And people are gonna see that. <sighs> I wanna what we very chunny, grand grand, the card. Are you chunny? Are you, like are you grand? Like it's not even on point via creativity or anything. A kid could do that. Mm. Kid. Because we were thinking of trying to come up with something to save this stuff. Then you know what? Let's say we we, we did, but I'd rather say let's not admit. Let's not admit, but let's not show this now to king country. Let's rather just say, hey, we lost. You can go into the change room and change and go back home if you want to. In real world, ne, we've got some mistakes that we've done. Ne, the client, obviously the client is not dumb. The client can see all the f ups that we did. You know what I mean? The clients are people. They understand. Ne? You, you make an appointment to come back and fix it. Mm. 
with the real people and then real people do real things. So you don't need many care to actually express what you feel and what is it that you're supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. And another thing is uh, trying to express uh, we kept, we wanted to uh, uh, capture Ilondoza, the essence that Ulut is bringing to the people, to the real people. And Ruwets as a store, it provides us with real clothes, which might be worn by mannequins, but at the end of the day, real people buy it. Real food is bought to be eaten. When you're in the mall, you, if you follow the the, the, the arrows, the teasers arrows, yeah, the arrows. Teasers arrows yeah. it says real lifestyle, real fashion, real deco, which yeah. is like what we believe that Woolworths is it's representing. Part, yeah. There are other like stores that al always advertise realness or quality or lifestyle, but you actually could come into Woolworths, inside Woolworths, and you actually do experience that realness offered. Like you, you have 100% cotton, you've got 100% linen. If you don't know about Woolworths, it is real that you know everything here is quality. In the end of the what we also went on with. Um, how much did you know? We are family. We are going to find out about the first day. So in front of the mirror, this person will be reading this and find out to do and So then, yeah, you get, and then this is yeah, the 75 years of real quality. Sibonisa, the realness. So, mm -hmm. thank you very much. Hi guys. Welcome to another style council where one of you will not make the cut. But you have all voted for Mapiwe and for Garth to have immunity from the style council and that is why they are not here today. Kama, how did you find leading the group after Mapiwe left? It was shocking in the beginning because I didn't know I was going to lead. But it was half the challenge because we were already halfway through the task. Lonobo, you were leading for the first time. How was it for you? Um, it was eye-opening and very challenging for me. And deciding your fate this evening is the Style Council. Nathan Reddy, South Africa's most decorated and awarded graphic designer. Philippe Mazibuko, creative strategist and stylist. Walesa Mokobong, fashion designer and creative director in her own right. And this week, the guest expert is Sanet Kutsia. She is the head of visual merchandising at Woolworths. Sonette, what did you think about Karma's team and their efforts? I think the bust looked very nice. It was nicely dressed, but um, it wasn't enough to make your window work um, all the way. I think a customer would really battle to get what you're trying to tell her. Um, if you walk past, you're really not going to know what's going on. Um, in the back, the food pictures that you put on the back wall is really confusing. The 75 years um, of heritage really didn't come across strong. Nowhere do you say that, and that's supposed to bring your concept together. And, um, and conceptually, I think everything fell a bit flat in the end. The foundation of this task was to celebrate and honor the Woolworths brand in its whole entity, you know, which is why I was surprised we had so many uh, food pictures in the background. And you missed the, the, the main thing, which for me was, you know, to celebrate and honor the 75 years. I just think, for me, I don't know, during my days, they used to call it domestic science. It's a subject at school. It looked too much like a domestic science type of window display where there was just food at the back and a blazer for the prefect. So for me, I had a problem with that. Guys, if you look at that window, okay, yellow paint. I mean, how many of you have seen Woolworths branding? Okay, it's clean lines, classic, okay. Just to me, it doesn't come across as a Woolworths brand. And again, a, a window dressing or, uh, you know, it's, it's like a billboard. You know, you walk past, instantaneously you want to be engaged. Having a blazer with a small typography in it, it's, it's not a window dressing, it's not something that impactfully gets your attention. And to me, I think you took it back 75 years. So Ned, now to Lonobo's team, what did you think about their efforts? I really think the way that you've put the banner up was um, terrible. It was just stuck on with um, Bostick or something on the back wall. Um, it really didn't fit the Woolworths brand. It looked tacky to say the least. And then um, the did you know inside the window, placed on the floor, not even equally spaced, also really didn't do that idea justice. And then the arrows that you put outside in the shopping center, um, it's also a nice idea, but it wasn't executed very well. So from a visual merchandising point of view, I really think you did a, um, 
messy job. Window space is, is the most expensive space in retail in the whole world. And I don't know if any of you knew that. I'm more interested in, in the other ideas you guys had. From what I've heard, apparently you guys had some very good ideas. So can someone tell me some of those ideas? Okay, the first idea that we had was uh, spot the difference. Okay. So what we're trying to show is um, have, um, have how it was done back Whose then. idea was that there? Uh, you know, you know, okay with that. I think the we problem couldn't agree of either. how we were going to, because I think yeah. we agreed on having them dress exactly the same. So making like spot the difference, spot the there difference. is no and difference, and it's like it's constant. You know, the quality is constant. So that was also didn't. But I mean, the idea of yeah. spot the difference, where one is like synthetic and one is like really good quality. I mean, to me, that's almost showing the difference, yeah. which is the world's brand, and also it's quite impactful because it's something different. Sonette, could you please let us know? Who is the winning team this week? We have decided that there is no winning team this week. From a visual merchandising point of view, none of the teams really did what they were supposed to do. I don't really think that any one of you did it well right at the end of the day. Well, a first for Style Council, there is no winning team tonight which means that anyone on both teams might not or will not make the cut tonight. The game is getting tougher. You guys should be coming sharper. Okay, it is a competition. You need to win. You had some nice ideas. Your execution was horrendous. Okay, you guys didn't even think about the Woolworths brand. I mean, that really didn't look anything like Woolworths. It is a competition. We have to be creative, and there has to be one winner. And I'm, and I'm just seeing friends being made. I'm, I'm not seeing individuals coming through at all. The scale is going down, guys. It's going down. I don't know. It's like creative fatigue. What is happening? The major flaw, the one thing that cost us this whole thing from our team, it was time management in that we had not taken into consideration how long, what was going to take as, as, as a result. So there's certain things were never done. The, the, pic, the pictures on the wall, those were not meant to be the pictures. We had pictures we had taken ourselves. We were going to show like the generation where we were started and where it is now using those frames. Just that by the time we got to do things, certain things never got done because we just mismanaged our time. I still believe that our concept was strong, um, but because of that time management and we had also financial constraints, we had to improvise. So we did the best that we could at the time that we had but I still, I still stand here and say that that was, Lorenza, and had we executed it well, Lorenza, and had we do, uh, do that thing. I have to say to you, there was not no 75 years in that whole window, okay? I mean, the most fundamental part of the brief, okay, you guys got wrong. Odysseus, the, tell me. What we're trying to relate with our, with our, with our idea was to, was to ca capture the spirit of heritage, because that's what Woolie, Woolies has created in this country, being a truly South African brand. The blazer was the main focus, and because of the flaws of the pictures, uh, there was nothing we could do in the main focus, even our lights, the main focus was on the blazer. Guys, to be honest with you, it looked like a men's store. Let's go to the next team of you. George, I'm disappointed in you. In that sign, okay, for 75 years. I mean, yes. you're a graphic designer, you uh -huh. know. I know. Okay, you stick something at like that. Then some laminated stuff thrown on the floor. You know what I mean, like the timing from production line. It I mean, wasn't what do you think of that side? I think it's, it's not good. It's a shocker. <laughs> yes. Becky, yeah. what is your contribution in terms of creativity and ideas to your whole concept? I thought of a chappies and then you know the did you know things inside. I know you like that. Yeah, so you know, and then from there I came I, I I thought of that before we even got to the house and the in the text at the top. But why throw it in the floor? I mean it's such yeah. a nice thing, you know, holding it, changing it, holding it, changing it. I mean who's gonna walk past and see the stuff on the floor? No, no, okay. I need I really need you to, to speak for your ideas. I need you to speak for yourself. It was so difficult because at some point we were stuck on we, we, we had an idea and it was good and then we couldn't like develop it and um, 
when I felt like maybe um, you, like someone brings an idea and the whole team can't develop it, then it's like a no-go, so you have to change to another idea. Michelle, you as a photographer, was at the end of the day, it's all about the moment. Did you see that moment? Visually, just, it wasn't stimulating for me in any way. And that was probably the most frustrating thing. No one could agree if any of those ideas but apparently would work that was out. your idea. Which one, the, the real? one did you execute it? Yeah, I know. It was so why were you idea. frustrated with your own idea? It just that it, it wasn't working. Like the idea, I could see it visually in my head, but it wasn't. Sorry, Sorry. I think the mistake that both teams made was that you um, looked at what um, traditional visual merchandising is, and both teams didn't want to go there because I felt that's too obvious. For our team, that was a, an actual decision that for once we wanted to go for an original idea. Mm -hmm. we, we felt that in all our tasks, we did our work, yes, we did them good, yes, but never, we never really had any, you know, something that has never really been done before. So we said, you know, why not try for, for once? Take a risk. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Let's just try to do something different, and then it maybe from risk. then on we will. And we looked at the people. Did you have another idea? Did you have any other alternatives? Um, <laughs> strangely enough, um, the ideas yes. that we had yeah. were quite similar to theirs. Yeah. That's why we, we had. We had. When um, we heard, because even like I had the idea, idea. of using um, a large format picture, which showed like an old setting, like a, a, an old lounge in like the 1950s or something. And we're going to, on the floor. We're going, gonna recreate that scene even with the modern seven things. See, that's, that's, that's where the problem is for the mere fact that you, the both teams are starting to think similar, you are getting too much into, into your own into each other's skin. You are not starting to think creatively as individuals. Kwama, yes. I mean, now I'm going to put you in the spotlight, literally. Who in your team do you think was the least contributed to ideas? Everybody. We all worked well together when it came to conceptualizing, so I refuse to say okay, there's fine. anyone. So fair. And Bobo? Uh -huh. Uh, our team, we like we at the conceptualizing because you said there were burned ideas. All of us actually came with ideas. Style Council has made a decision. What we decided is to call the two team leaders together because we found that both of them should have pulled their teams together. Tonight, the two people that are not safe are Karma and Lo Nuevo. Karma, you did not make the cut. I'm going to ask you to please leave Style Council. Karma did not make the cut because she failed to pull a team together and lead them in the right direction, despite numerous warnings from Woolworths. I mean, God, you know, I understand you is that by Kate Ilida, by being a band of Pumai, and you know, I understand you because Tina Sobabin is from Singene good task halfway through, and I still stick with that. And the husband, my little family, seriously, and since go with the amber, so it's like the one them to follow me. I'm being with her. Next, on the cut, what happened to Garth and Mapiwe, and where are they going? I think I'm lucky to go. I'd like to thank the people who gave me the opportunity, and thanks for voting for me. As South Africa's hottest young designer, the winner of the cut will win a one-year contract to work for leading lifestyle and fashion retailer, Woolworths. A pre-loaded Woolworths card with which to shop for the latest fashions and designer food. And to get around in style, the winner of the cut will receive a car for a year, courtesy of Woolworths.